today from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Into the secondary, past the 40. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Throwing on first down. Nguyen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And early on, they're picking up right where they left off last week. And I know a lot of coaches say each game is its own. You don't really have carryover. This feels like carryover. So much confidence from the previous game that they're using to their advantage now. to a tongue of Iloa heading out to lead this Miami offense. And for all the pledge of success he had, highest passer efficiency rating by a mile, he's a guy who's had his share of detractors at the professional level, but I do like his poise, I do like his moxie, and I love his accuracy. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, it's Malone. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The numbers for him from a week ago, 20 carries, 71 yards. Are we playing old school football now? We've got the top 10 rusher in the league. He's sitting at number 10, but he has a chance to move up with a big time game. So expect that offensive line. Every time they go to the bench and tell the offensive coordinator, let's run the football. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Back to throw. Nguyen. Open man there is Malone. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. This will wind up a loss on the play, and it'll be fourth down. They're going to try and throw. Flush to his right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. This is taken around the 12. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. And we 
drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. They'll run on first down. Malone. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Second and ten. Looking to throw. Nguyen. He finds his man complete. That's Casey. Touchdown, New York. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Here's second and ten. To throw again. The win. He finds his man complete. It's Casey. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feel pretty good about your next couple of calls. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. Nguyen gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Casey. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up the block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Their mobile quarterback with his 19th touchdown, his second of the game. And the Jets are going to take the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in...
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. The final shot before break. The win. Flushed out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo. And this, a five-point game as they've gone to the half. Gabriel Davis, a touchdown catch in that first half. From there, we'll head down to Charlotte to check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they've got the lead in their matchup with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Christian McCaffrey with a couple of touchdowns there. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough to check on the Patriots. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Seahawks. Chase Claypool, a touchdown reception. <laughs> Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, Okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. And they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? Yeah. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, the win. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown! A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish it. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Give them a couple on the carry.
They'll keep it on the ground. It's Malone. Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. To throw on third down. The win. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll keep it on the ground. Samuel. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Instead of a third and four, now they have to manage a third and nine after the delay of game. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 35. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? The Jets on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. Touchdown, Jets! It's complete. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jets are going to be moving to 4-0 and as they extend their lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate. And oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. On first down, Samuel. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Samuel takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from... Oh, wide open, complete! And all the way in, touchdown, New York! A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jets are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he... we, 
We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. They'll run on first down. Malone, oh, fighting off the defender. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running.
game they breathe a little easier on the sideline yeah they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game that means they're really counting on that offensive line counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback hey no time to be a hero we're not going to throw it here just eat up that clock and if you have the ball they can't score a one yard gain there following the three yard pickup on first down so third down they need to get to the 28 for a first from the gun they'll try to run it and not much running room down to the 32 just a gain of two there and it's going to bring up a fourth down Looking to throw. Nguyen. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And it's incomplete. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Jets, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 and on the new campaign. And they'll head back home next week to take... What's good, fam? It's time for the Nia Polanco Show. Well, I think the big question is, is this team for real? I mean, we're a quarter of the way through the season, and they don't have a single loss yet. But it doesn't seem like everyone's taking them seriously. Well, as a playoff contender, you kind of have to. At least the math says they are. In the last 10 seasons, 30 teams have started 4-0. 26 of them have gone on to the playoffs. That's 87%. Doesn't sound like you're ready to call them Super Bowl contenders just yet, though. Am I right? Uh, that might be a little premature, but that's the case for almost any team at this point in the season. But listen, they've got one of the best rookies in the league leading the way. And like I said before, the math doesn't lie.
today. From in New Jersey. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. On first down, it's Malone. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 14 carries, 72 yards, and a touchdown. He's been a huge part of their winning streak because he establishes not just an identity and a tone, but the team relies on it. He takes care of the football. Touchdown! A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Not even two minutes into this football game, already we've had two scores. You know how much I like to read about teams of old, right? The, the teams of yesteryear. There were some teams that were known as... The... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. It's a big play that time by the Jets. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. The last run got six, now second and four. Off play action, the win, out to his left, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on, it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. We're all still valiantly searching for the so-called book right that tells us what to do in every situation everyone kind of knows what it says but it's never really been written down anywhere he violated every code on that one didn't he <laughs> deciding to go for it right there oh yeah your side of the field this stage of the game you're supposed to punt the football he said who cares i'm gonna light the book on fire yeah analytics everyone else be warned he's coming for you Hit as he throws there, incomplete. 
Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And that's a play to applaud because these RPOs, things happen so quickly. And that ball is out of the quarterback's hands fast. He read it and reacted and was there to hit him as the ball arrived at the receiver. Big time read, big time play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 64 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. On first down, the win. Forced out to his left. Now he'll throw deep left side. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. It's a big play that time by the Jets. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. They'll run on first down. Malone. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Back to throw. The win. Now he's got it. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Beautiful throw right there on third down. And it looked like this was going to be six points. But a nice touchdown saving tackle at the end of this. Even and he will not get away. He sacked back around the three-yard line. The sack will push him back only a couple yards, but certainly not what they were hoping for on first and goal. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been coughing him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdowns. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Noah Gray, his second touchdown. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. <laughs> Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Looking to throw. The win. He finds his man complete. That's Casey. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
It's a big play that time by the Jets. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. No bottle, the fumble. It's out, it's loose, and the Ravens have got it. Well, number one on the list of things not to do when you're up three scores in the third. That right there, give the football away. I love when you speak like that. You know how doctors talk about taking the hit. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So, yes, your definition is apropos in this case. No gain on the play there. Second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coach was always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they work this out past the 25. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's caught, it's Malone. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off the play fake. The win. Rush coming and he's taken down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. It has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today. But on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. He's going to float this over the middle deep. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A surprise. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first down, it's Malone. And across midfield, he goes into Raven territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? 
You're taking charge. Off play action. The win. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A great effort there. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Jets are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. So that drive there, CD, a good response, and that might be the one that... Offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. They'll run on first down. Malone. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Malone. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Back to throw. The win. And this is going to be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And the Ravens are going to take possession. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first down. Malone. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Malone. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Defensively, they had it pretty well corralled, but the face mask, that obviously changes things. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating because you feel like you did everything right. You had him stop, but the hand gets up just a little too high, and the natural inclination is to hold on, and that's going to get called every time. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. 32 yards. And the Jets add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from... So now we're in the final minute of the game of the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Off the play fake. Nguyen. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Off play action. The win. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. 
picked off with great anticipation. And the Ravens are right back in this football game. Two-score game here in the fourth. explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning So that wraps up our first NFL power rankings of the 2021 season. Obviously, it wasn't too difficult to come up with first place. In fact, we had NFL insider Ethan Rhodes on the show earlier today. And here's what he had to say about our top choice, the Jets. I went on to the Nia Polanco show last week and sung this team's praises, and they managed to improve to 5-0. and whether or not you think this team is a bona fide Super Bowl contender, you have to respect what this organization and their star rookie have managed to do in the first month of the season. All right, there is some legitimate young talent on that roster, and they are very well coached. The future is really bright. All right, so here's the thing. I agree with everything Ethan said about the Jets. He is spot on, 100% on the money. But, and you knew there was a but coming. What happens when they eventually end up in the loss column? 